The Roosters, meanwhile, have sent a warning to the rest of the competition with four straight wins. The tricolours revealing the secret to their red-hot form, working with the infamous Coach Whisperer, who guided the club to its 2019 Premiership. He's one of the most intriguing figures in sport and he's back working with the Roosters. Bradley Charles Stubbs is a coaching mentor who was last night observing the players before their win over the Broncos. He's in a bit, he's in um, for like different days, captain run or whatnot, but uh, he talk about energy, he's someone that um, he's someone that drums it into you. He's, he's really good, he's actually um, from Maroubra, a bra boy surfer, so um, he tells good stories, he's good to have around and um, I love talking to him. He's always good to talk to. He gives great feedback. The coach whisperer worked with Souths when they won the comp in 2014. Then with the Roosters in 2019, Luke Keary knows him better than most. I have not won a premiership without Bradley Charles Stubbs. Stubbs recently returned to the Roosters, reigniting their premiership charge. You could say he might have been the difference the last month. He's definitely the difference. <laughs> His mantra is simple. Expect the win, done, done, done. And the players are buying in. Everyone trying to keep an energy in its in its little ball and in our families and our group and not letting it go places where it doesn't need to go is, is really powerful. I really, over the years, started to believe in that stuff, so uh, it's working well. What, were you sceptical at first? Oh, not really. I just used to be a carpenter who's just a um, seven or three. That'll that'll do me. So, um, it, but I know it works, and um, I can feel it. So it works. Emma Lawrence, Nine News. The Knights insist they aren't shopping David Clemmer around. The prop was back at training this morning, despite being banned for one match, and today slapped with a suspended fine for abusing a club trainer. Parramatta had a conversation with our uh, recruitment manager, Clint Zemmett, and my understanding is it never went any further than, with, than that because uh, David wasn't interested in any part of the deal. The 28-year-old is signed with Newcastle until the end of next year. It seems even Craig Fitzgibbon has been caught off guard by the Sharks' meteoric rise up the NRL ladder. The coach admitting he's surprised by how well his players have performed and also himself as a rookie coach. It was sink or swim for the Sharks this season. Just how quickly they've adapted, though, has even shocked Craig Fitzgibbon. Yeah, I think that's fair to say. This is first go for me as well, so I don't... Um, wasn't really sure how quickly we would gel and connect and understand how we want to play and what we want to look like and what we want to represent. So it's happened um, quickly, but it's still not finished. Third on the ladder, the Sharks are hunting a home final. Though a top two finish may not be enough to deliver it given Shark Park's renovations. We just want to get in the strongest possible position for semi-finals, like irrespective of where that's at. Cronulla has called on a debutante to do that. Kay Dykes will step in at fullback, the son of Adam and grandson of John. It's just the second time a club has produced a third-generation player. His form for Newtown um, has been just gotten to a point where he was undeniable. He comes in a clash that carries plenty of history. Fitzgibbon embracing the local rivalry. I think they're really important for the game, like as in, in a whole, everyone loves it. The tribalism, irrespective of where and how clubs are performing, when you have a derby, it just seems to raise the stakes. The Dragons know what's on the line. Oh, well, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's a game we've got to win. Fighting for their season, they look to have claimed an early victory. Confident skipper Ben Hunt will re-sign. He's positive about staying here. I mean, the, the form he's in at the moment, there'll be 15 clubs you know, interested in him. Sam Jordan, Nine News.